Hi, my name is Aaron Marcus, and uh, I've been asked quite a few times about what can somebody do who has a full-time job, but they really want to continue with uh, acting, you know, and, and or modeling. And so I've got a couple of ideas for you that, that um, I think will be really helpful. You know, one thing to keep in mind, uh, there are lots of different kinds of full-time jobs. There are some where people are able to get work done uh, at their own time, and so they can take time off during the day. They just have to work later at night or early in the morning to get things done. Uh, there are some people I know who have taken on jobs that put them on shifts that allow them to work during the day. There's somebody I know who, who's a uh, nurse, and she uh, does, I think it's like 11 to 7 a.m. shift, and that allows her to, you know, to work during the day. Um, but let's just say you're in a situation where, you know, you, you can't take off easily. You know, you're a teacher, and summers you have off, but, you know, during the day you can't really just call in sick that, that many times or take that many days off. So if you're really interested in acting um, and, and or modeling and you want to try to continue to do this, and you're not really worried about making a living at it because you do have a full-time job, here are a couple of ideas. One is there, there's a really good website. It's called Stage 32. I think it's just stage32.com. And you will find tons of various people in the industry there, filmmakers, uh, screenwriters, and, you know, a lot of times, especially for smaller independent films, things are shot on weekends, which you certainly could do, or maybe even during, during the week, but in the evenings. Uh, the other thing, too, that I would definitely check out are all the local colleges and universities, community colleges in your area, and I would visit the film department and find out who is teaching film classes and speak with them. You know, to say you're really interested in, um, in acting in films. And there are tons and tons of students who have to shoot films for their class. So what you can do is um, make sure they have your headshot. Uh, you probably have to go to an audition, put yourself on a list so that you can be called because you might have a certain kind of look. Maybe you're in a, the right age category where it would be hard for a fellow student to pull that one off. But I know a lot of people who, who do that. And once again, you know, they're not trying to make a bunch of money from this stuff. They just love to act. You get a chance to be in a film. You will get a copy of it. And, and it can be great, just a great experience. And, and don't forget about theater. You know, there's a lot of theater out there for people. And especially if it's community theater, you're going to be rehearsing in the evenings and performances are going to be on weekends. So I just wanted to share a couple of ideas. Oh, and, and I forgot. And with uh, if you're interested in commercial modeling, I would definitely go the the root of uh, the colleges, and, and you'll probably find a number of students uh, looking to create commercial shots and uh, maybe things for their portfolio. And, and once again, it gives you um, a, an idea of how to go about still doing things that you love to do. And one other thing I just thought of, uh, there's an incredible organization. It's called Women in Film and Video. It's W W I F v.org you will find um, organize this organization all across the country actually in other world in other countries as well other worlds that's funny um, and and you can become a member uh, men are me I'm a member um, and they have great networking events they have guest speakers it's a pretty nominal fee to join at least in the one that I'm a part of and you will also be able to make contact with uh, maybe some independent filmmakers um, who, you know, perhaps you can work with. So, anyhow, I just wanted to give you a couple of ideas of ways of continuing to, um, you know, to get involved in the acting and remodeling industry, even if you have a full-time job. Hope this was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions at all, always feel free. Uh, you can email me at Aaron. Uh, A-A-R-O-N at howtomodel.com or just go to howtomodel.com. And, and if you if you like this information, uh, if you're on YouTube, please like it. Um, give it a thumbs up. If you're on my facebook.com forward slash howtomodel page, um, please, you know, uh, give it a like there and, and feel free to share it with others. I'm Aaron Marcus. Look forward to talking with you soon.